duh, it's a Super Bowl. How could it not be fun? Right, no brainer, right? <laughs> Just today we found four fans already preparing for their trip to the Valley. KSHB 41 News reporter Mackenzie Nelson talked to those fans today. Mackenzie. Hey guys, well, fans once thought that a Chiefs Super Bowl was a once in a lifetime opportunity, but it turns out it's not. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs are headed to their third Super Bowl in just four years, which means fans are also going to theirs. And it, it was amazing. It, it was once in a lifetime. Now it's going to be twice in a lifetime. For some fans, it's their first Super Bowl experience, and for others, it's their second or even third. For people that have never gone to a Super Bowl, you know, it, it's a bucket list thing, you know, it was a bucket list thing for me in Miami. From Miami to Tampa and now on to Glendale, Arizona, Chiefs Kingdom is making the trip to the desert. Been definitely had my fingers crossed all year for this and then uh, can definitely say I'm pretty happy about it. In February 2020, the Chiefs beat the 49ers in Miami and Ed and Patty Johnson were there to witness it. Bucket list. So I've always wanted to go to Super Bowl. I've always wanted to see the halftime show and Ed decided that this might be our only chance. And he said, if we want to go to a Super Bowl, we should go when the Chiefs are in it. In February 2021, the Chiefs fell to the Buccaneers in Tampa. Joey Lowry was there for what was an altered fan experience due to COVID restrictions. So that's the weird thing, too, is that, um, you know, obviously the whole COVID thing put a whole twist on the Super Bowl just in general. I mean, all the way from, you know, the spacing in the in the stadium, let alone, you know, um, when you could take pictures with the trophy and when you couldn't, more or less. So I'm really excited, but I'm also kind of nervous, too, which, could, again, because of the more restrictions, um, means a lot more crowds. So that's something that I think we're all thinking about is, uh, you know, will we actually have the time, you know, and the ability to actually get to go see the stuff and look around at the stuff that we want. Next month, it's the Eagles and some fans have their tickets booked. I actually got tickets in April. And then last night when they won, this morning we got on and bought our tickets. And others are still trying to get their hands on one. I've been told that, you know, they base your chances in this lottery on how many years you've been a season ticket holder. So I've been kind of thinking 37 years is a pretty good amount to um, get those chances for that. And uh, just hasn't happened yet. I just haven't been lucky. And Chiefs fans hoping to get their hands on tickets. Christopher Munsterman, he has been a season ticket member for 37 years. You just heard him say that. And so this lottery, a select number of season ticket holders get the opportunity to purchase their tickets to the Super Bowl. So he didn't get lucky with that, but he's hoping he can find some other tickets. So fans excited. The excitement is all around. We're here at Union Station where fans have been lining up to take a picture in front of this AFC championship sign. And if that's not what's drawing fans out, uh, this poster might be it. These just went on sale here at Union Station. You can see it says AFC champs right there on the outside of Union Station. So come down. There's tons of fans here taking pictures in front of all these signs and getting these one of a kind posters. For now, live at Union Station, I'm Mackenzie Nelson, KSHB 41 News.